Hello and welcome to the Your Business Card Guy Practical Corel Draw Tips. Today we're going to be talking about removing a background from a photograph. I have a pretty typical project here. This is uh, the back side of a business card. Customer has provided us a photograph and wants it put on there. Obviously sometimes a photograph comes to you already cropped and cut uh, to a certain shape or size and it, you, you're left with having to put it on in a little frame or something that reduces uh, your ability to do any kind of a design that you'd like. However, in this case, we have a photograph that has the background revealed all the way down the sides of the person, which will allow us to remove this and then create a very nice superimposed look. To do that, we need to use Photo Paint to remove this background. Now you can click on the picture here and you'll notice that the toolbar changes and I can choose Edit Bitmap. You can also right click the photograph and choose Edit Bitmap here. Either way will work and both launch Photo Paint. As Photo Paint opens up, you'll notice that it uh, comes right up, up on top, and it looks, in this case, however, it's like it hasn't actually opened the photograph, and that's only because that uh, the main background gray is similar to the kind of gray that you'd find on the uh, computer program. So if I zoom out, you'll see that the photograph is in fact opened. Uh, one thing to note, though, is a little uh, Corel tip, is that uh, it has opened in, in its window mode, which will allow me to move this around. Uh, and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, except that I am not actually seeing the bottom of the picture. And because I'm trying to remove this background, I need to be able to see the entire thing to make sure I'm getting it all. So I'm going to double click this title bar, hit F4 again, and you'll see that it zooms out all the way, revealing the uh, photograph at the bottom as well. Now, one thing you need to do when you want to work on a project like this is create an object from the background and then we can go about deleting it. So I need to go up to the object menu here, choose create, and then from background, you'll see that it highlights around the edge and then over here in the object manager, it's highlighted here as well. We have it selected essentially. And now we wanna go through and create a mask from this color. Uh, and obviously this is a, a gradient. It goes from a very light to a medium gray, uh, but then we can uh, select it and remove it. So we are going to use the magic wand tool. Over here we've got uh, our various mask tools, rectangle mask, and the little down arrow lets us see what else is there. I'm going to choose magic wand. Now the uh, setting that's important on this guy is the uh, tolerance here, which says what is the variance from the color you select that I should also select. So if the number is very large, it will select a large variance. Uh, if it's very small, obviously it'll only select things that are close. So if you made that say one and you select a certain gray, it's only going to select grays that are right on top of it in terms of the color scheme. In this case, I've got 12, which should allow us to select quite a bit of the gray in a single click. Let me give it a shot. You'll see here that it goes all the way from uh, to this very light gray here in the lower left or medium left here, and then all the way around the head not quite the corner and then down the side all of this gray has been selected as well choose delete and our checkerboard reveals that it is transparent I can now select the uh, light gray here you can see that it's all the way down to the side delete that off go into the lower left corner same thing delete it's removed here see this is that section that was hidden before now that it's revealed I can see that it's been deleted uh, I can click the gray lower right that's sort of hidden there and it selects quite a bit in that case. I hit delete all around the edge, the corner, lower right corner, delete that, and then the upper right corner as well. And again, based on the tolerance setting, you can find what works for you so you're not having to select um, too often, but at the same time you don't want to be selecting things that uh, you want to keep. If I had set this tolerance too high, you know, it may have selected too much of the uh, jacket, for example, which wouldn't work at all. Uh, we don't need that being deleted. Uh, the two areas, anytime you have a photograph you want to uh, double check very closely is any areas that there's a gap. In this case, I've got the elbow where he has his hand in his pocket. It creates a little bit of an area here, so I need to zoom in. I can see the background here. I want to select that, delete that out, and zoom back out. And then the other area that you can't really see from this uh, zoom level, but I, uh, my experience tells me is always a problem, is the hair. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'll show you what I mean. 
you can see that the hair has created these little pockets where the background still shows through. So those need to be deleted as well. Um, the level that you go to is based on your project. Obviously, if you have uh, um, something that requires that you get in and really clean every little bit out, then you know you're going to be spending some time doing this. But um, you know, in the end, you'll end up with uh, a result that looks very nice. Um, you know, and you can play with it. Like in that case, maybe it's selected too much, so I undo that, change the uh, tolerance setting, and then I, I can continue. Uh, the other route you can go is to use the eraser tool. And I have the uh, this guy here on the bar, I'd click that, and then the setting it has has to do with the size. Obviously, uh, the circle can be made larger or smaller. I can zoom that thing up, and now I've got a very big circle, which while it gives me a big area to, to erase quickly, doesn't work for some of these detail points. If I wanted to get into this area here, see, that's not going to work for me. So uh, I can set that deck down to say three. I can get in here and then I can hit, you know, start erasing. And you say, well, wait a minute, that's not erasing. No, it's not. And that's because right now what we have selected for our mask is out here, this section, what we've been working on in the background. So we need to invert that to allow us to work in this area. So I'm going to go to mask, choose invert here. And then now I can get in here and delete this off manually. And that works out quite nicely. I see another section I want to remove up here. And again, with your project, will will guide how much of this you need to do manually, how close do you need to get it. Um, you know, sometimes it's a matter of every little bit of color has to be removed because the background it's on, you don't want to have a, have a halo look to it. Uh, other times, you know, it, it's just not going to matter because even if you spent the extra time, the uh, end result of the compiled image isn't going to be any different, and so it's not really helping you uh, achieve a better result. But that's again up to you and your project uh, and the level of work you're working on. Um, but let's say that we like this; we want to see what that looks like on our project. It's a simple matter of just saving it, and you can hit Control S if you like, or the uh, little disk up here. I'm going to do Control S. I'm keyboard guy. I'm going to minimize photo paint here. And you can see very quickly that I have now removed the background. The gradient that is on the business card itself shows through. It goes from light to dark similarly but not the same gray obviously um, as the uh, uh, other one. And you'll notice that there are a few things that need to be cleaned up. In the upper corner here there's a few splotches. Lower corner as well I believe I, I saw something. Yeah, that's not, you know, there's some areas that need to be tweaked uh, just a little bit. And that's, again, easy enough to do. Pop back here to uh, Photo Paint. You could then use the eraser tool. Uh, if you need to use the magic wand tool, you can clean those things out again and you can resave them. And it automatically updates here, uh, you know, with your project. So you're able to kind of fix what you need to fix. You can also do anything else that you normally would do with a graphic. You could power clip this inside. Um, you could crop it, you know, depending on what you know, you're working on, you have all the power of Corel uh, to work with now at this point. But that is a, a pretty quick way to remove the background to create a very nice superimposed uh, graphic look to your project. Thanks again for uh, visiting us here at Your Business Card Guy for our practical Corel draw tips. Today we talked about removing a background, but we have uh, other tutorials as well, so please check those out. Thank you and have a great day.